So here we are, but this time talking about earwigs. So when you look online for earwig care, there's not much you can find. Not too many people keep earwigs, but I do find that they are excellent feeders and I plan on feeding them to my frogs. Their care is very similar to cockroaches, so that's most of the guides I go off of in personal experience and learning from most of the habitats that they're found in. What I do for their care is I provide small bits of dark leafy greens. Look, there's one down there. He's a little guy though. Potatoes, just like my isopods. But for these, I actually do use fish food just a small bit. And I do like to use bug burger for them that provides them with protein. Or the morning wood. I do love using morning wood powder just a little bit more than bug burger. What it really depends on is just keeping the enclosure moist and having the proper ventilation. I have ventilation very high around the rims and on this lid itself and they seem to be doing well. It's more of a trial and error to figure this out. Let's get the flash on so you can hopefully see better. I've noticed they really do love to burrow on the substrate. I got a few in here. This is a small colony. I just think they're so cool. But see how they just dig under? He's rather fat. I like to keep a dry side and also a moist side. I keep a little bit of fish flake for the protein on there for more available food. You can see a little earwig down there. They like to burrow, so I've noticed there's a whole burrowing system down there when I pick a few pieces up. But I do miss this culture about once a week. Mainly the bark, I like to keep moist. Try not to keep that moist because I don't like it to mold, but you do kind of figure out how much you can feed them without it molding and how much they can take. So really do it by feel. That's from the only article I've read on them. And I like to miss the top of the lid just a tiny bit to keep that humidity up. So that's about all that I've found and it's been doing pretty well for my earwigs so far. That's all the information I've kind of caught and learned from experience.